Donald Trump must never go near the White House again. From an outsider's point of view and one that lives in a democratic country, I cannot believe that there are people in the United States of America who cannot see how dangerous Donald Trump is to their democracy. In the United Kingdom, a few weeks ago, Parliament voted to get rid of the current Prime Minister. Prime Minister that won the Conservative Party an 80-seat majority in Parliament. However, once the Prime Minister was accused of breaking specific COVID rules and making other mistakes, the country's electors lost their trust in the PM, which triggered the Conservative Party to get rid of him. No one in the UK stormed Parliament demanding that he be kept in his job. On the other hand, Donald Trump lost a fair election, and from the evidence presented to the January 6 Commission, Donald Trump was under no illusion that he lost. Like other presidents before him that had a peaceful transfer of power, Donald Trump whipped up a mob that stormed the heart of American democracy. He continues to tell his supporters that the Democrats stole the November 2020 election from him. But the worst part is that Americans do not seem to know their constitution. If they did, they would have realized that Vice President Mike Pence could not change the Electoral College votes to make Donald Trump remain president, and Vice President Spence only has a ceremonial role. Donald Trump is a very evil person who disregards the oath of his office to protect and serve. Trump ramped up the country's extremists and then called them out on January 6 to overthrow democracy, and if necessary, they should kill Mike Pence. What happens on January 6 will act as a blueprint, and if anyone believes the threat to American democracy is over, they better think again. Just look at the people running in certain districts. If these people get elected, they will upend America's democracy should a Democratic candidate win the presidential election in 2024.